thank you. Tonight, a family in mourning remembers three people murdered over the Memorial Day weekend. And right now, a young teenager who found the grizzly scene is sharing her story for the very first time. Our Andrew Dowd is live in Lakeland tonight with the latest. Andrew. <laughs> And this fence behind us has turned into a memorial. You can see the balloons, flowers, messages, and pictures all left by friends and family trying to heal. I wish that none of this could have happened. I wish that they could all still be here. Chanel Walters is still trying to process her loss and the gruesome scene she walked into Monday morning. It hasn't really hit me. Um, I can't really believe it. It's not really yet. Walters had just returned home from a weekend trip when she found her mother, Daniela Smith, along with Miranda Mims and Nicosi Williams, dead, shot to death inside this home. Police say they were murdered by David Smith, an Army veteran, and Daniela's brother. He died Tuesday after police say he shot himself during a standoff with SWAT officers in Tennessee. You can't justify anything that he did. What he did was wrong, and, um, you know, I didn't deserve that. They didn't deserve that, and um, I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. Tonight was about healing. Friends and family lit candles, left flowers, and wrote letters. I'm still like in shock. I'm just waiting for them to step outside right now. Desiree Hall worked with Mims. She was one of dozens who came out tonight to share memories, hugs, and tears, trying to move past a devastating situation. I still don't believe it, honestly. Like, I still feel like I'm going to wake up and they're going to be here and everything's going to be normal. Walters is just 14 years old. Her next step is to plan her mother's funeral. We're live in Polk County, Andrew Dowd, ABC Action News.